The Nuclear Counter SP100 is the world's easiest sperm cell counter with outstanding repeatability. It provides the total sperm cell count in 30 seconds and with a second cassette measures percent viability as well. The Nuclear Counter SP100 works equally well with ejaculates and extended doses, even when the extender contains milk or egg yolk. Due to the difference in sperm cell concentration in ejaculates compared to extended doses, the two are counted using different dilution factors. Start the nuclear counter by pressing on-off. The nuclear counter is delivered preset with the bore setting. Before using the instrument for stallion semen the first time, change the species to stallion. Press F11. Select stallion by pressing 1, up, or 2, down, until the display reads stallion. Store the new setting by pressing enter. To evaluate a stallion ejaculate, select a dilution factor of 101. Press F0 on the nuclear counter keypad, type 101 and press enter to store the new setting. This dilution factor results in optimum accuracy in the range of 125 million sperm cells per mil to 500 million sperm cells per mil. With a precision pipette, take out 50 microliters of semen and transfer it to a sample cup. It is recommended to be very careful when pipetting since semen is very difficult to pipette. Pipetting is the key factor to a successful cell count determining the precision of the counts. Dilute the sample with 5 milliliters of reagent S100. The reagent will kill all cells and break up the cell membranes leaving the sperm nuclei freely exposed to the dye in the cassette. White blood cells will not interfere with the sperm count as reagent S100 will lyse all white blood cells including the nuclei. Load the cassette with the diluted sample by pressing the plunger. The sample will be drawn into the cassette and mixed with the staining agent, propidium iodide. Insert the cassette into the instrument and press run. The instrument will push the plunger down, forcing the sample through the mixing channels and into the measurement chamber in the cassette. Light shines through the chamber and the emitted light from the nuclei is captured by a camera chip. The resulting picture is analysed and the cells counted. In 30 seconds, the instrument shows the total cell count in the display, expressed as million cells per milliliter. If the instrument is connected to a computer running the SiemenView software, the measurement result is shown on the screen and the results stored on the computer. In a total cell count, all cells are counted whether viable or non-viable. The percentage viability can be measured in a two-step process. Step one is a total cell count using reagent S100, and step two is a non-viable count using PBS. PBS will not damage the cells and since propidium iodide cannot pass through an intact cell membrane, only non-viable cells will be stained and counted. When measuring viability, the nuclear counter must be in viability mode. Press F3-1. Press one and store the new setting by pressing enter. Prepare a cassette for the total cell count by diluting the semen with reagent S100 as described earlier. Insert the cassette, press run and press 1 to obtain the total cell count. Load a new cassette with a sample diluted with PBS instead of reagent S100. Insert the cassette for the non-viable cell count, press run and press 2. In a minute the instrument shows the non-viable cell count in the display. Now the percent viability can be calculated. The SiemenView software does this automatically. To save the settings you have used, turn off the nuclear counter by pressing on off, then save the changes made by pressing enter. Otherwise, press escape to cancel the changes made and the startup settings are restored.